director of Autour de la Flûte, a chamber music series here in Montreal. This is an original flute by Ullmann, who was Viennese. The flute dates from 1860. It's ebony, the head is metal lined. This flute has 13 keys, as opposed to an earlier flute in the Romantic period, which had 10. It existed at the same time as the Böhm system, and now it becomes a question of personal taste. Böhm system was more popular in France. Germany and Austria still preferred a what's known as a simple system. As opposed to Böhm, this flute still maintains uh, lots of different colors. Some things are easier, for sure, on Böhm. In some ways, this flute is more technically challenging. We get a lot more color options with this flute. At the time, there were some people who said that the Böhm's flute sounded more like a trumpet. We start to hear that modern sound, that ribbon, silk-like sound come through, yet you can still hear that it's a wooden instrument. I've used it for music as late as Tchaikovsky. I love playing originals because there's an energy and a spirit in the flute that uh, modern copies don't necessarily have. Somebody else's hands touched this from 1860 and I find that just to be something amazing. The flute suddenly allows you to push a little bit more and, 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 and not hold back as much as you would have to with earlier flutes. It's a nice feeling to, to kind of let loose. This flute can still play very, very softly. The high notes can come out really softly too. This flute has some little secrets, like a little extra G sharp here in the back and the thumb, a little secret B flat key here on the side. It's hard not to hit them by mistake, so that's quite a challenge, but when you get to use them, it is very gratifying. The keys are a little bit harder to push. There's more resistance. When I started playing this flute, I did need to position my fingers differently because I noticed I was hitting keys by mistake, so you have to feel your way around other keys to know it very well whether or not you got to push here, here, or here. There are some trills that would absolutely be impossible on a eight keyed flute. This one gets a high D to E. For more information, please visit autourdelaflute.com. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more episodes and more flutes.